Yeah, this is Paris. No, it's actually not Paris. Um, let's see. This is a totally new place for me. Very big, it's very ugly. This is the Marché International de Rangis. And the big market in Paris used to be at Léal, in the center of Paris. And they shut it down in the 1970s because it was just too insane having all of the food and stuff for the city of Paris um, be delivered and sold right there. So this was set up in the 70s, and it's this massive, 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 massive complex. And I'm here for a business meeting and it took me oof, a good two hours to get here. It would have taken me another 45 minutes but my spouse took me in our car the first leg of the journey which was a bus ride in my city to a commuter train and that bus ride can take up to 45 minutes even though it's really only a few kilometers from where I live. And that's why when I, when I tell people when they're visiting Paris um, to allow a lot of time to get from point A to point B, it's for things like that, that, that it's things like that that I'm thinking of. Uh, the bus goes through the center of Saint-Denis and the roads, little old roads twist and turn and there's a, a busy market there three days a week and if there's a, a sporting event or music or whatever at the at the stadium, it's it's really messed up. And sometimes the public transportation doesn't even run through there. I just saw a big jet go by. Um, Orly Airport is, I guess, maybe about five or so kilometers from here, a few miles from here. When you travel to Paris. A lot of the charter companies and the discount companies will send you to Orly Airport. And I've only done it twice. I don't recommend it. This is far, uh, really quite far from Paris. And I'm not good at converting uh, kilometers to miles. I just know that a mile is longer than a kilometer. And uh, um, I'm not that big on kilometer geography in the region, I tend to think it in, in terms of how long it's going to take on public t transportation. Um, but it was, a, it was a long, long ride down here and it would have been very confusing to somebody who doesn't speak French and who doesn't come from around here. Uh, I had to deal with a machine to buy a round trip commuter train ticket. I don't like the RER commuter train. I went to Bourg-la-Reine, uh, a town in, I think it's Val de Marne, département, and uh, I had to walk a fair distance and find a certain bus, and then ride a bus for to the last stop here, and I found the building where I'm going. I'm still a little bit early for an interview, but I always prefer that. Um, in Bourg-la-Reine, I was looking for the bus, and it's a good thing I found a bar because I really had to had to pee <laughs> and um, you know they're really not willing to let people in off the street and use the toilet unless you buy something but I went right down to the toilet and uh, you know it was, a, it was a pay toilet and you had to have a 20 euro cent coin which miraculously I had on me and then I kept walking and found the bus and some old ladies help me look at this map I have and one of them had me get off two stops too early but um, I just realized well just take the next bus the next stop or two and take it to the end of the line so here I am uh, the deal with uh, Orly Airport I'm trying to baffle the wind a little bit with my hand I hope it's working um, the deal with Orly Airport is uh, it really is far from Paris. You might think you're getting a good deal with the airline ticket, but in fact you're not because, you know, if you're going to have to spend 50 to 100 euros on a taxi from there to the southern border of Paris, not even into the center, 
uh, you're going to be sorry and um, you will have to pay tariffs because the taxi picked you up at the airport and if it's at night they're allowed to charge you more and for having luggage they're allowed to charge you more and it really 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 adds up so only use Orly Airport if you are sure that a friend can come in their private car automobile and pick you up and drop you off and that's hard to come by and you better give the friend something because it's a bit of a drive there is no direct public transportation connection to Paris from Orly Airport there may be a shuttle bus I wouldn't count on it the shuttle buses are not a good deal again you have airport taxes which apply and they really gouge people um, they gouge tourists who don't know visitors who don't know it's best to ask a local there's probably a regular city bus and you can even actually buy a bus ticket for cash on the bus but uh, they'll, they'll gouge you uh, they, they encourage you to buy the tickets in 10 packs in advance and stuff um, from Orly Airport there's sort of an automated little commuter train it's very expensive I think it's called Orlyval and I did this once it was not pleasant it was a long walk to this little automated train and uh, uh, then it still doesn't take you into Paris it takes you to the RER station of Antony I think it is and from there you have to deal with the RER train which is a type of commuter train here which is not user friendly it's it's unsafe I consider it unsafe and um, it's not fun and then once you get into Paris you can take the metro or whatever but you see it's a, it's a big hassle so don't use Orly Airport okay really it's down here by Rangis <laughs> and it's noisy and horrible all right um, so that's all I'll see you later and what was I gonna, going to say in conclusion um, oh yeah you cannot hail taxis um, in and around Paris it's illegal you can't flag down a, a, a taxi you have to go to a taxi stand you know good luck finding one or you have to telephone one and wait for them to come get you alright see you later bye